The court scenes are my favourite in the whole play mm. because they're such a sort of melting pot of, uh, t of tension really because of the figureheads of this court being so tyrannical and, and so unstable in themselves really. The aunties is having to square his insanity really with the people that he normally would trust and he, he, he's not able, so that means he has to push them away. He gets it into his head that the baby is his best friend's child and he is the king who has absolute power. It's not as if um, the queen can go to a lawyer and then have a judge decide. He has absolute power of life and death and that's why it's such a crisis because he can just have it killed. Eggshells was a word that we used oh, quite yeah. a lot in, in rehearsals in terms of you're always trying to capitalise on, on the good moments the moments when, when the court is, is up and, and is, is free and you're trying to make the best of those situations but also you're, you're constantly aware that it could turn at any moment. any moment so you don't want to put a foot wrong. You would just be so anxious all the time and it's sort of like a constant fight to mm. do your job and look after the Queen and look after the Mamilius but also you've got to stand your own within this sort of um, crumbling world. Um, During rehearsals, we did lots of improvisations mm. about back backstories, like with um, the court. Often we'd go, like Declan would send us into a separate rehearsal space and say, just do it a little study and it's you, just improvise and create and talk. The backstory is, I think, yeah, it's what gives you the sense. So a lot of people say, well, Shakespeare is very immediate, and it is. It's very immediate in terms of the way you play the lines. But there has to be a reason for, for the lines being there. And that has to be about the personal relationships that, that have gone before. I think we did lots of different uh, movement things. Yeah. And, and to be as aware, because it's Leontes Court, it's very, very much Leontes is in control. Uh, and because he's so changeable in his moods, you have to be completely aware of, of where he is and, and what he's doing. And so we did a lot of group ensemble work on, on just with, with no dialogue. Uh, Orlando, who plays Leontes, coming in and moving around in various different moods and, and interacting with us and, and us all having to be very malleable to that. It's an interesting exercise because you cannot switch off at any moment in any show, especially because it's directed in quite a free mm. way. You know, Orlando changes it every night, so we are reacting <laughs> there and then. And if you switch off, you will be in the way or you will mess it up. And so it's a lovely feeling of like everyone is holding it up. There may be in the cup a spider speak, and one may drink, depart, and yet partake no venom.